Yes. Down in the depths of the Potland Burn surface mine near Ashington. The site's celebrating because, thanks to the efforts of the 65-man workforce, who produce around 10,000 tonnes of coal every week, they've managed to break through the 1 million tonnes of coal barrier. I think it's, you know, it is quite an achievement to, to, to get a million tonne off most sites and uh, certainly nowadays like a lot of the sites that we do mine, they're, they're not like huge sites you know, with huge tonnages so you know, to get a million tonnes on any site now is, is quite an achievement. Yeah? I've, I've had a full work and life in, in, in the coal industry, mainly on the surface mine side of things but um, you know, this, is, this is what this, this area is about, it's, you know, it's about the heavy industry you know, we can give jobs you know, which have disappeared from the area and I think that's a, that's a bonus really. You know? The hope is that by the time coal production at the site finishes in 2015, the workforce will be near the 2 million tonnes of coal barrier. But it's not been an easy ride though, with many local residents voicing their concerns when the site first opened. The opposition group was never against mining as such. What it was against in the beginning was the fact that this was so close to people's homes and the fear that those homes could maybe be damaged. Um, that fear is in the past, you know, of being reassured by this work and, and the effects have been really minimal on the community, in my view. And the whole community should feel like they're part of it because it's benefiting the whole community. As part of the six year project at Potland Burn, Plans are already in place to restore the site once coal production finishes in 2015. Chris Conway, News Post Leader TV, Ashington.